first saw my father playing it when I was young. I guess it's the natural thing. You always you always look up to your father. You always um, do the same sort of things that he does. Basically, I got my first racket when I was three. Parents were, well, pretty odd gift to give a three-year-old for his birthday, but um, they gave it to me, and you know, quite frankly, I haven't looked back ever since. I guess I I got into squash because of dad, um, but what has been my inspiration in all this time and all these years to keep playing um, has been the Lord. I believe that squash is something you're either born with or you're not. And um, well, you know, honestly, I think I was born with it. It's my belief that God has a fate determined for us all. And it might have been chemistry, becoming a policeman, that sort of thing. But I always thought, well, God gives you a body like this for a reason. And that indicated to me that I should be playing sport and at a high level. Well, everything I do is related to squash. You know, when I get up in the morning, I'm thinking of squash. When I go to bed, I'm thinking of squash. When I'm training at squash, I'm thinking of squash. So um, it only makes sense that that um, what I do for a job is in some way related to squash. Um, squash is a game very much up here, but it's not just up here. It's also down here. And um, I mean, who's ever seen a shopping vehicle that's, uh, that's ever gone the way you wanted it to? And it takes a lot of down here to, um, to control it. And uh, it's a really important motor skill to develop uh, as a squash player and well hopefully one day let's face it a squash professional my time is split probably 50 50 between the church and the squash court and uh father often says why don't i just paint some lines on the floor and hit up against the wall and then i'd never have to leave the church at all but i wouldn't want to hit anything So it's been a three-pronged approach uh, for this week. Firstly, I've really focused on my physical side, my physical fitness. I've gone to the gym an extra couple of times. I've, I've swum in the, in the pool and, um, and I've done some extra training sessions. So that's the way I've been preparing. It's been, it's been tough. Oh, I won't lie, it's been real tough. But um, you know, I've turned the table over. My body, um... I've been fortunate that it's always in fairly prime condition. I spend so much time on the court that I'm normally feeling fairly fit. The second of the three-pronged approach has been um, I've really focused on my, my technique. Technique is important. Um, um, I'm anything but conventional. I'm in saying that, I use, I use the conventional forehand, backhand, um, lobs, but um, apart from that, uh, there's a few shots that are unique. My specialties are trick shots, uh, through the legs, behind the back. The scoop, the two-handed scoop, when it hits the wall, it drops very suddenly. Other people use it, but it's, it's really the, the spin that we put on the ball, which means when it's hitting the wall, it's actually on a downward um, geometry. Physical, technical, and I believe the most important is mental. Every time I go to bed, I imagine I'm winning. Every time I go to, go to work, I'm winning. Every time I go to training, I win. Mental, mentally. But for me, the most important is the spiritual. I don't think there has been a game where I haven't sort of felt that God was standing right behind me, helping me with each shot. Well, I mean, they don't come any bigger than Rockdale. And every year it also almost seems that the winner of the A-grade final really goes on to make a difference in squash. In 83, I think it, it means even more to a lot of us, given the um, proximity to the Olympics next year. I believe it's a stepping stone to um, qualifying for the Olympics. 
Keith is probably the favourite on current form. Alan is a good player, and I hate to admit it, but he is. Uh, it doesn't mean I don't think I'm going to beat him, because I know I will. I think if I'm meant to win, I'm meant to win. And all I can do is ask that the, the Lord is fair. This Rockdale A-grade men's final, come Friday, it'll be the biggest match of 1983. I mean, as you can see, I mean, the game was a tough one for all three sets. Um, I thought I was out in there in the second set for a while, but, um, you know, a few good points and got me back, but uh, what a ripper. Last set, last point. Jeez. Oh, I have to congratulate Keith. He, um, he did really well. It's been like a dream come true, and, you know, like I always knew I could win, um, but it was just, you know, getting out there and proving it. Rockdale championship is important um, but it's certainly not the end of the world and it's not about it's not about accolades and trophies or um, small glass plates it's about it's about doing what's right it's about doing what's right in here and doing what's right for him and I believe whatever happens in this life happens for a reason and the reason is his choosing and this year he's decided that I shouldn't win at Rockdale and that's fine because it means to me he, he has another plan and that's what I'm looking for. This Rockdale first grade is the first one, next is the Olympics.